Welcome to Pokemart, where we take a look at the Pokemon TCG secondary market to see kind of like what trends are going on. I'm Moana Turtle, and today we're going to take our first look at the new sets, the Sword and Shield set to see kind of like where prices are landing after about a week or so. Uh, a little bit less than a week, I guess, since official release. Uh, but, you know, it's still not tournament legal, so I, I'm guessing a lot of these price fluctuations, these trends will be based on online play and obviously not any tournaments yet. And in fact, that won't can't even start until I believe the 21st of February. Uh, today we're going to start with Meowth V. This is still the, the deck that I want to make work. Uh, I'm not sure if it's ever going to be Tier 1, but... We're going to keep trying, and just judging by the price on TCG Player, not many people are doing the same thing. Uh, the Meow V coming in at $3.45, just a little bit over $4 after shipping. Uh, for Actually, everything will probably be near mint. And then, yes, it is a two-part card, so then you also need another five. So actually, that's $10. That's about half. No, actually, no, I think this, thing, this box MSRP'd for $30, so it's actually pretty expensive. Jumbo card is not worth that much and then actually we didn't even look at the code uh, but the code is probably not that much it probably follows a similar trend as the IRL prices of it not moving very much all right Trev Noir though this is definitely the best performer as of recent uh, promos go and on TCG player this thing is still going for after shipping uh, $16 wow that's still really good uh, the well, we always look at the jumbo card, but I'm not sure who buys jumbo cards. Let's just take a look at some sold listings on eBay. There were some interesting data points here. So yeah, $15 still. And these are all sold. Uh, the code card still $4 is pretty good. Yeah, so just this alone, $19. If I don't see these in store, in stores anymore, but when they were available in stores, you could just pick it up for $20 at MSRP. And this boggles my mind. Someone. Uh, standard size Trev Noir is just one for 24 what oh from UK I'm not sure if that makes any difference uh, maybe that was a shipping optimization but that's still really high five dollars for the code card four dollars for the jumbo but it does include shipping and man I don't re usually check uh, eBay for listings like this but I wish I saw this uh, a box of 12 of these for under a hundred twenty dollars uh, let's see if how much shipping was because that is a great ooh okay never mind uh plus 55 dollars for shipping i mean it's still you could probably flip that but not i'm not sure that's worth the work all right i thought it was just going to be you know less than ten dollars for each box but nope that's not the case but yeah trev noir still doing very well let's go to hidden fates so we're basically done opening hidden fates but we'll keep an eye on at least a handful of cards. We'll do a quick peruse. We're not going to go through like every eBay, uh, every eBay um, search for these. But Charizard seems to kind of settling where we originally thought. I, you know, first I thought it was going to stay at 200, and then it was going lower. I was like, oh my gosh, maybe it's going to continue to drop. But it feels like it's going back to 200, at least as far as TCG player goes. From there, Cynthia, I feel like everything is kind of stagnant at this point. Cynthia mid 30s, and then everything else mid 20s and down. Not too surprising there, but actually we'll just take a look. Ooh, even that $200 Charizard was a light play. So for near mint, actually no, it's still around 200 And Cosmic Eclipse, you know, I think is very kind of like stagnant as well. Man, Charizard breaks in. If, uh, we picked him up one of these at $100 when it first came out. That would have been a big disappointment, although we did do stuff like that for the Reshizard. Because uh, this guy is down to 30, uh, less than 32 and yeah not too much not too much interesting movements actually we will look at adp because adp is still very strong 26 for the alternate art and about 20 for the rainbow and considering that um i feel like this is all i hear about as far as like the sword and shield decks like adp zacian is the strongest thing it's overpowered anyone can pilot it even if you make mistakes and but the prices are still pretty low maybe just the pull rates were good enough from Cosmic Eclipse or whatever, but uh, so not too bad. Let's take a look at some deck staples, including Dedene. This one is still very high. Unbroken Bonds, probably not the easiest thing to get your hands on at this point. So the Rainbow, they're all basically $28. Like, you know, there is very little variation. 
sometimes I feel like the full art is actually more expensive than the rainbow, which I can understand. You know, rainbow just is max rarity, but it's less I it's less appealing. In my opinion, I'd rather have the full art. And then the other kind of staple is that Jirachi. We're ignoring the staff one and keeping an eye on the pre-release at 23. And then, oh my gosh, this deck includes this is the one from the uh, Ultra Necrozma Ballerina deck. If you can find that thing for $20, I would still pick it up at every chance I could if I just saw it at a, like a Target or something. Uh, the, the Jirachis potentially can sell for a profit alone and then you just keep all the other cards, including the code card, which I bet you can make a little bit off of as well. All right, we will focus in on the Charizard. And so let's see, these are, this is buy it now, so as always, eBay is a little bit higher than TCG Player as far as Charizard goes, anywhere from 220 to higher, which we can basically ignore. And then, but sold listings. Uh, let's see, this comes with a couple extra random cards. PSA 212. All right, so still above 200. Uh, so maybe our original prediction was correct. It'll hover. Although, oh, on auction. Hmm, only one bid. Interesting. And then it says, actually, it says best offer accepted. I think that means that someone, they had the listing, and then instead of putting a bid, they said, hey, I'll give you 150, and then they accepted that. So apparently you can snag these up for uh, cheaper than, we'll just say, the market price, which seems to be 200. But then on that, it's still, you know, 250, 210, 230. Actually, these are higher than I was expecting, to be honest. Uh, I'm not sure what that was, but 250, wow. Maybe it's more of like a centering thing. Maybe people are really uh, being critical about the centering before they purchase, which would make sense. The PSA 10, which we'll look at next. PSA 10, I'm guessing, is still hovering around 500. Actually, I think it was dropping a little bit lower. Oh, that's actually a cool deal. You get the Japanese one as well. It seems like 610 is that market rate for that. Uh, ooh, 6 best offer accepted. Let's look for one where they actually sell. Okay. 475 so yeah a little bit below 500 seems to be the going rates and then every once in a while you see some things that above uh so 475 seems to be the lowest one that we've seen confirmed Ooh, wow what is this 460 okay 460 for the psa 10 charizard and so like the difference between picking up i'm guessing good a well-centered uh raw copy to uh, you know, PSA getting it graded and having a confirmed PSA 10 is like, again, we saw some for like 220. I'm guessing those are well sent. Anything 220 and above, and then you can sell it for like 450. So that's like, what, 230, $30 bump in that grading process. Interesting. Uh, 445. Okay, it keeps going. 420. Wow. Okay. This is getting lower and lower. Interesting. We'll keep an eye on that. All right, let's talk about Sword and Shield. Brand new sets out officially out for less than a week at this point. Zacian V. Uh, Zacian, it seems like everyone has concluded that this is the best card. I haven't had a chance to try it out yet. We still need to pull some. Uh, but uh, coming in at 45 market as lowest price on TCG player. Right, so let's just take a look. I'm curious if there's a good amount of them. Yeah, and actually there's a steady supply of these at $50. So $50 seems to be the going rate right now. And then Quick Ball, not that surprising. I think this thing will be, it feels like just such a good card. And if you do have Evolution stuff, you can also run the Incense to grab those, obviously. And that one's around 35. I think this is, you know, actually I do want a Full Art Marnie, but as far as the Secret Rares, I think Quick Ball is at the top of the list for me. And then Professor's Research, actually yeah, between the two, Marnie and Re Professor's Research, this one definitely seems a little bit better. And then if you want some cheap Zacians, wow, still 27, that's pretty high. Well, actually, I guess that makes sense if this is the go-to deck right now as far as using the Sword and Shield cards. And then let's just check out uh, what is the best VMAX or the highest price VMAX Lapras. I did see a couple videos on these on YouTube for people making Lapras work. I'm kind of surprised by the Stojourner VMAX. Although it's still only $11, which for a secret rare um, feels kind of low. But as far as the highest Rainbow VMAX... Stojourn, that's interesting. I'm curious to see what people are doing with this card. And let's just see, Metal Saucer for under 15. You know, if this is this is like the same thing as Cosmic Eclipse, where all the the singles market is lower than I would have expected. And you know, I let's just look at this as a positive thing. If you want to swag out your decks, you can do so very easily, uh, or not very easily, but for 
lower than I would have expected, we'll say. Ooh, Zama sent a gold, only only 14. I'm very happy with our luck to pull Zacian golds. Like, regardless of how difficult it is to pull it, I'm glad we're pulling Zacian over Zama Zenta. And, but, uh, yeah, I feel like that's my biggest takeaway is... Once again, if you want to get into competitive, maybe now is a good time. You could probably put together a top tier deck for not that much. If you already play competitive, you want to swag out your deck, it's, very, it's surprisingly low price to do so, in my opinion. And all right, we'll just take a quick look at the top two cards, Zacian V and Quick Ball on eBay to see if that is a different data point that we can look at. Uh, so these are also listing 65. Ooh, 60 eBay is significantly more, which I find very interesting. Um, yeah, why, why not? Why not pick it off TCG player for 50? And, and really, that included shipping as well. Yeah. Oh no, wrong card. But very confident about that. So you see, in $50 including shipping, I'm sure 50,000 plus sales. I'm sure you know you won't get scammed or anything like that. But you know, people are still picking these up for 60, 75, 75, 80 off of eBay. I find that kind of curious. Wow, 88. Oh, no, wait, that's a Japanese one. But uh, yeah, so Zacian V on eBay is going for quite a bit if you have one that you want to offload. And then the Quick Ball. Wow, $60 for a Quick Ball. That feels very expensive. Just a reminder, on TZG Player 35, a little over 35 after shipping. And these guys are going for, eh, well, Maybe that's an outlier, but yeah, around $40, it seems, for eBay. Uh, so I guess eBay is more expensive. Actually, that's kind of like what the Charizard is, too. But uh, yeah, so that was our first look at uh, Sword and Shield secondary market. Uh, general trend is, unless you're looking for those top cards and you want to swag out some of the other ones, it's not that expensive. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm kind of I haven't settled on what the deck I want to build is but whatever my top like my main deck is gonna be we'll think about it although I think I want to continue to purchase some like older stuff some stuff that is like you know 20 years old that's probably where I'll be looking for uh, most of my purchase going forward but uh, thanks for watching as always guys if you have any topics you'd like to see covered in Pokemon let me know in a comment down below and uh, yeah next time we'll definitely look at zero in on some more vintage stuff but given that this was the first week of Sword and Shield I felt like we should do this topic so as always guys thanks for watching I'm Moana Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time